What is going on YouTube? My name is Feynor and welcome to my let's play of The Wardrobe. I'm going to keep this intro short so I'll get straight to the point. This game is inspired by those 90s point and click adventure games that I used to play a shitload of when I was a kid. I'm super excited to play this game because it has been ages since I've played a point and click adventure game. Now I saw this game on Steam and the art style instantly drew me in. It just looks so unique that I just had to get the game and try it out. So enough talking, let's just jump straight into the game. This is the story of two young guys bound in friendship and in destiny. Ronald and Skinny, as often happened, went out for a picnic together to spend the day in the neighborhood countryside. Suddenly, Ronald pulled a couple of little plums out of his basket and gave one of them to his friend. Mmm, delicious. Deliciously lethal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this guy's serious. <laughs> Note how the slow motion makes everything more epic. Fair point. The boy's corpse stayed there for hours, enveloped by blades of grass, until all of a sudden, something happened. A new spark was instilled in Skinny's body, reduced abruptly to a skeleton, and slammed him inside Ronald's wardrobe, cursed to watch over his friend for the rest of his days. <laughs> oh, okay. Or at least until today, when our story starts. Oh, this is so weird. Morning, sunshine. Hi, Nat. Forgive me, but I didn't sleep very well tonight. Are you sure you really want to talk to him? I have no other choice. He'll have a heart attack if you ask me, and he'll end up keeping you company in the wardrobe. I really hope not. Getting pretty distracted by everything in here. We got Captain America's shield, the splitter cell goggles, looks like Baymax. God, <laughs> uh, bunch of sticks of dynamite with a timer. Oh my god, this is packed with everything. Guitar Hero, a shit instead of uh, an apple sign. Okay, let's just go through the dialogue tree. Do you know where Ronald's gone? Everybody left a couple of hours ago, but I don't know where they went. They were all very nervous. I don't know why exactly. It'll be the usual sale at the mall. The Mother Superior must have straightened them up as usual. The Mother Superior? When will you stop eating those things? Would you care for some, maybe? How many times do I have to tell you that I'm allergic to plums? Just looking at them, I'm getting hives. Man, you don't have any skin at all. And anyway, they're nuts. Otherwise, why would Ronald have given me this name? He probably just wanted to be alternative. You're a lost cause. <laughs> okay. Hasn't Ronald spoken yet? You should know that by now. He hasn't said a word since you died in front of his eyes. I don't want his soul to be damned forever. If that stubborn guy won't open his lips for himself, I'll take steps to loosen his tongue. Don't hurt him too much. Hmm. I All right. have to run to the bathroom. All this excitement loosened my bladder. What bladder? Seriously, what bladder? <laughs> I like this room. Start here then. Put the little pet in the van. In the meantime, I'll prepare the boxes in the living room. And don't do it like last time when you got hit by a car while loading the stuff. There are colored books on the walls! <laughs> but you don't even know which side a book opens on. I like covered books. Well, this guy clearly hit his head you know when he got I hit by the car. Like? Working for free to pay for broken things marked fragile. Do you understand? That guy looks like a this Mario. Carpet. It's soft as a marshmallow. <laughs> I like marshmallows. <laughs> I should have listened to my dad when he told me to be a florist. Okay, that was one weird conversation. Ah, I really needed a shower. I guess. Boss, Not like you sweat you or anything. Open. Let's keep working on the ground floor then. In the meantime, I'll ask the lady about a key. I'm afraid this damn move will take longer than expected. Move? Um, 
I have no control. And what should I do now? Good question. I'm coming, I'm coming. Apologies for the delay. I was late with a tutorial of another video game. Players are not what they used to be. Anymore. Oh, hardy har har har. Let's uh, cut to the chase. I'm here to explain the game controls to you. Well, I'm not interested. I'm not asking you, Skinny. Let your player decide. Yes, Skinny. Let's be real, though. What other controls are there? It is a point and click. I don't imagine it's going to be more than pointing and clicking. <laughs> okay, okay. I just hope you don't miss something while playing. All I'm asking is that you take a look inside that green satchel. I'll take care of it. Okay. As long as you leave us alone after. Yeah, I hate tutorials. Ma, there's gold in this here bag. Ah, uh, no. It's just pyrite. Don't be fooled by appearances. It could be more useful than you can imagine. See you soon. Rubber duck. Even at his age, Ronald can't really get enough of squeezing this thing. I can't imagine what the bear would do to Ronald if he still had his spine. I'd give him a what nice tattoo on his back for starters. You have to understand, the bear is convinced he's married to the duck. Why is the bear even talking? What is this game? <laughs> oh my god. So weird. What else do we have? We got a chainsaw that looks like it's straight out of Scarface. Don't ask any questions, believe me. Alright, I won't then, fine. Can we take it? Let's just say I'm not exactly interested in the item. Why wouldn't you be interested in the item? It's a friggin' chainsaw. 201 times is more than enough. What? Is he like a serial killer? What's in this cabinet? Ugh. Ugh. Oh, gross buzzers. That, and that looks like uh, straight out of Dra Dragon Ball Z. Let's go find some Dragon Balls. I don't know what's more disgusting. This or the hair removal strips of Ronald's mother. <laughs> I don't think it's a Gross. good idea. What am I supposed to shave? Ugh. Besides, this isn't exactly the height of hygiene. I feel you, buddy. I feel you. Squeeze the toothpaste. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's head back. Let's go through this. Oh, let's open this bin first. <laughs> that face. I've seen things you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Count yourself lucky. What the hell would be in there? I'll never get used to that sight. I want to know what's in there. You can play some darts. All right. Wow. Nice throw. You've probably already figured out I'm not exactly an ace. In my defense, you have to admit that it's not easy to throw without real joints. You're embarrassing. That's it. I'd honestly like to know how your joints are holding together. What happened to my wardrobe? I can't be separated from my wardrobe. It's a matter of life or death. Well, I mean, you know. Not really. I already did. I like the portal reference. Why is there a hole in the desk? One of the movers must have left it here. Can we pick it up? Alright, I wonder what that's going to be used for. Do you think this is the right moment to play games? It's always the Do right time to play games. Do you think this is the right moment to play games? Ugh, what is that stain? Sigmund Freud. What the hell? <laughs> A disaster I made with some apricot marmalade years ago. I never understood how Ronald's parents could think it was Sigmund Freud's face. Alright, that is pretty strange, I'm not gonna lie. Um. I suggest you avoid careless moves, if you value your skin. I already lost mine a while ago. Okay. Nice otter picture. A <laughs> uh, picture of the Slender Man. Uh, the chick from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Oops. Lobotomize yourself. All right. Bank robbery. All right. Anything happen, or do I just turn this off? Guess so. Is that the bear from Toy Story 3?
I know where this is going. With this trick, we lost four relatives and eight of the cat's nine lives. That critter won't get closer to the living room, even under torture. Oh? I can't and mostly don't want to touch it. Yeah, I don't really blame you. I think you need a permit to carry something like that. Right. Dust monster. It's a sort of big ball of dust. You don't say. And who the hell are you? Have some respect, stupid bony human. You're looking at the future conqueror of the world. <laughs> oh, he's ambitious. Only dumb characters in this game. Don't laugh, that goes for you too. But I'm not a character. Jumping Jiminy! Not me! I can't jump! I have no legs! And my name's not Jiminy! I meant, where did you come from? From under the hardwood floor. I was stuck there for years! But now I'm finally free and will have my revenge! I don't think that really answered the question. <laughs> um... Who do you want to take revenge on? The world! I have nobody to take revenge on in particular, so I will take my vengeance out on the world. <laughs> Can't argue with that. That laugh, though. You seem pretty harmless to me. Listen, not to curb your enthusiasm, but you look pretty harmless to me. What? I mean, you don't look blessed with any particular abilities or of great intellect or any intellect. You can't expect to get very far without a well-constructed plan. Ah, you're right. Think about it, okay? <laughs> okay. Let's not give him any ideas. Who would be your nemesis? The Swiffer? I don't know any Swiffer. Forget it. I have to go. Bye. This game is so weird. No way, those two guys are still down there. Okay, so... What do we do then? TV? No, we already did that. Aromic... Or aromatic herbs. Ronald's father has never been a green thumb kind of man, but you should see the level of dedication he has for them. Ronald's mother is very satisfied too. She says they give a nice scent to the whole place. <laughs> 420, <Sure>. blaze it. <laughs> I'm already conspicuous enough for my skeletal appearance. Just imagine a drug put... I mean, an herbalist skeleton. You'd like it. You're already high, huh? <gasps> How'd you know? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I suggest you avoid careless moves if you value your skin. I already lost mine a while ago. No way, those two guys are still down there. Lean out the window, I guess. I sense trouble. Don't know where else to go. The Murrays are really very nice people. When we were children, Ronald and I often played with Cooper. But after the divorce, he went to live with his mother. Okay. One of the countless houses of the Wayne family. Mr. Wayne is not often seen here in the city. He never stops by to talk with anyone. I'm Batman. <laughs> that house has been for sale for years, but nobody has ever seen the owners. Nor is it clear if the mysterious Mr. Richards even really exists. Sounds like a pretty weird neighborhood. That must be the van of the moving company. I absolutely have to find a way to get in there before they finish and leave. Just jump down. That's not a dinky toy. It just looks small from up here. Worth a shot. I knew I should have taken that correspondence driver's class. Listen, little van, don't move until I find a way to get out of this house. Capiche? <laughs> I don't think it's going to listen. As they always say, you never know what might come in handy. Dentures. Can we take those? Ugh, I guess we can. This contains the ashes of Grandma. May she rest in peace. Anything inside? Want to rifle through it? I confess I've always been curious. Oh, he actually does. <laughs> Just jams his hand right in there. Whoa, what is that? Gum? An ending so unexpected. Why would there be gum uh, in there? Um... Just another small interruption to tell you that it may sometime be possible to pick up the same object more than once. Another belated circumstance where you show your negligence. But thanks for the tip. God, this skeleton has so much attitude. I've already taken enough. Yeah, chewing gum, the pyrite, the drill, um, 
Good, the batteries seem to be charged. I'm only missing the bit. Okay. What a dazzling smile. Where do I find the bit? I could never chew at all, even if I had an eternity in front of me. And I fear I do. Is that such a bad thing? Hi, Bear. What's new? Nothing. Since I'm forced to stare at the sink, hope I'll be luckier in the new house. Do you want me to give you your happy pills? How many times do I have to tell you that I don't need them? Besides, I have my duck. She makes me feel good. <laughs> All right. How do you feel about this move? I hope I don't end up in a bathroom in front of another dripping sink, or I'll go completely crazy. You better find a way to get out of this house and into that van. What are you waiting for? Why is the bear talking and why is he in the bathroom? Did you see That's Ronald? So you strange. Naked? Yes, every single day, and it's not a pretty sight. Come on, bear, you know very well what I meant. Early this morning, usual time. He was a little down in the dumps. I mean, more than ever, but nothing particularly suspicious. Is that a poop joke? I think that was a poop Have you joke. Had any other hallucinations <laughs> since the last time? Luckily not, Mr. Hunter. Bear, I'm skinny. I'm just messing with you. You're the little wuss without a backbone. I would argue that claim. Now I have to go, Bear. I mm -hmm. guess so. So where the hell did we go? I must say that he nothing soft about. This isn't like... It's a case of a... I'm okay, but... Skinny, you don't even have... In That's not true. Is there anybody down there? Flush the toilet? There will be no pee. Sometimes I... Alright. Okay, guess we're going down. <laughs> All right, in the sewer now. Bye -bye! <laughs> this guy's such an idiot. Have you seen boss? I opened the door. Bravo, well done. But now let's go. It's lunchtime. I like eating. Then come on, move. <laughs> oh wow. Uh... What a blow. Alright, so... Got a new area. Control unit. What does that do? I guess it's the control unit of the neighborhood traffic light system. Why would it be I down here? I'm curious that it's down here. I'd have imagined it on a pole or something like that. Maybe pulling out some high voltage wires would not be the best idea you've ever had. But alas, not the worst either. Okay. I won't deny that idea could be funny, but I don't think the people on the street. Why is this even I could a thing? Justify such an action only if you show me you're on hallucinogens. Why can I interact with it if I can't do anything? Let's talk to this crocodile, I guess. Hopefully, he doesn't try to eat me. Um. Oops. Uh, hi. Hi, little bag of bones. That's pretty rude. Please don't eat me. As skinny as you are, you wouldn't even be useful for chicken stock. Hey, excuse me if I care about my figure. Uh, okay. You don't look too good. How are you? I have an unbearable pain in my tooth. Mm, something must be stuck in it. Would you like to take a look at it? I guess. Fine. Th that's okay. Uh. There's something in there indeed, but I don't think I can remove it with my bare hands. Right. Um. I'm sure you're a really nice guy at heart, right? Actually, I just escaped from a maximum security prison for reptiles. I was locked up because I slit the throats of my neighbors with a Jesus, fishbone. that escalated quickly. They were too loud, and I couldn't sleep. <laughs> I promise All right. I will never do anything to upset you. I'm just messing with you, stupid bag of bones. You're not funny at all. That's a weird sense of humor. See you around. It 
seems pretty battered. Next player, please. I'm tired of this one. Can't do anything with this bat. How do I get in? Basically, this is the. F I don't know. Let's go up. Um. Please give me just one second. I just realized this is the first time I've been out of the house since I died. Okay. Okay. I think I can manage. Let's go. Activate. What will that blow up? Something far away, apparently. I like the bunny on the wall there. <laughs> uh, what's this thing? It must be a slot machine gas station. Spider-Man, all right. Some spaghetti, leftover chicken, a cereal box, and a couple empty liquor bottles. This one has it all. Sure. I don't feel like rummaging through the dumpster. Okay, fine. A bum? <laughs> a huge sleeping guy stands in my way. I don't know why, but I'm having the strangest case of deja vu. Is his name Snorlax? I don't think I can wake him up. And I don't want anyone to see me in this outfit anyway. Um, okay, so where the hell do we go? What does this say? I think I'm living proof of how awfully wrong this all is. Um, living, so to speak. Consume plums. They killed Disappeared me. Disappeared in the night. An old Neptunian alien. A reward of 5,000 quid is offered for any information that leads us to his safe recovery. Call 00 Solar 8 554011. Peace and prosperity. The appeal of construction sites knows no interplanetary limits, it seems. Okay. Crash test dummy. How the hell did that even get up there? I'm afraid it had a rough day. I understand the crisis and all, but can you really not find a better job than this? I remember when I was a kid watching uh, that 90s show of, of the cartoon of Crash Don't Test Dummies. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Can I bother you for a second? Don't you see? I'm really busy right now, boy. Are you blind? Tell me this is a joke. What are you doing exactly? I'm working, unlike all those incompetent slackers. But you are blind. Not at all. I can see perfectly. I don't need anyone's help. Which number am I making with my fingers? Four. Okay, at least now we know we're not dealing with one more fake cripple. He's in denial. You really have strange taste when it comes to clothing. Brown and black are absolutely classic, boy. Timeless. But actually, you... You young people today don't understand a thing. Go back to your hipster flaps and pursue a living in bad taste. What the hell are hipster flaps? Your tenacity is very impressive. So, do you ever stop? We need someone who keeps everybody up. I can't afford to rest. It's hard work, but someone has to do it. And when, for example, you need to go to the toilet? I always carry my traveling catheter for emergencies. What the hell? I really need yeah, to go. Yeah, let's just get away from him. That's freaking weird. Can't touch the periscope. We can turn this cement mixer on. If you have a gangster past, maybe now's the time to mention it. I don't. I'm sorry. These are pipes of various sizes. And I suppose they're for the sewers or something like that. Can we use them in this... What? In the sewers? I don't know for what, though. My track record with hydraulics isn't exactly filled with memorable results. Okay, we got some Lego blocks back, back here. Day, the Why the hell is that coal I really hope just you stuffed in there? In your Christmas stocking. State-of-the-art technology, no doubt about it. Where is my flying broomstick now? We were at war. We dug the pits with our bare hands. wreck it Ralph up there. Hmm. And I fought for years and Look at them, with those little bloodthirsty killer eyes. I sure wouldn't want them to leave some memento on me. You've just defined a new standard for the word stupidity. Ouch, this guy's rude. Come on, let's get a move on. Don't Peter Parker's around. camera up there. Okay, so where do we go? When we were at war, we dug the pits with our bare... Um...
old fork. Not exactly the luckiest fishing trip I've ever seen. Oh, we can take this line. Now, can we mix it with anything? You do it. I wouldn't know what to do. No, what about the fork? Yeah, hey, there we go. Using everything with everything won't work in this adventure game. You can game. add the gum. Stop asking me to pick up on- Oh, so we can kick open the wall. T-Rex up here. What does that say? The T-Rex cowboy. Undisputed ruler of the very wild west until the end of the Cretaceous period. It would have been interesting to ask him how he managed to extract his revolver from the holster. Um, open the chest here. Okay. Talk to the barman, I guess? Nice place you have here. Silence. Okay. Were you and Tutankhamun relatives? More silence. No, it's because I see a strong resemblance. Maybe it's the nose. I could have sworn it, you know that? Is this guy not going to talk? with the cat? You must have really driven it mad to need all those ba- I got it. You're a Tibetan monk under a vow of silence. Damn it, I was sure I was right this- Okay, I guess he's not going to talk. you one of the Queen's guards? You won't confirm or deny- Has anyone ever told you you're really good at listening? Seriously, don't be so modest. Okay. He's not- I would stay and chat with you for hours, but I wouldn't presume- Okay, he's not going to talk. Now I understand the electricity bills with all the zeros at the end. It would look great in the living room, but I don't... Do you speak English? My grandpa worked in a factory welding vehicle body parts. I remember that on his deathbed and completely blind already, he mistook the blowtorch tube for my grandma's arm. Okay. May he rest in peace. Can't a take it, heavy. eh? There's still some gas in it if one day you ever decide to follow in the footsteps of my grand. You're suffering. Okay, let's go upstairs, I guess. Oh, we're back in the house, it looks like. That's where that door led. And for all these years, nobody ever bothered to force it. He seems to be a bit short on energy. Hi, little robot. C1 is not programmed to talk. But you just did it. C1 is not programmed to explain itself. What if I took out your batteries? Would you still be in the mood to show such attitude? C1 is programmed to run on solar energy. Don't provoke me, or I'll hit you with a hammer. No sun in here, You're bro. worse for wear. C1 isn't tired. C1 is running data. Why don't you turn tail in the meantime? If those two catch you, you'll end up in a box, you know that? C1 is not programmed to do it. Are you telling me you can't do two things at the same time? C1 hasn't got the updated firmware. <laughs> right, everybody says that. Beep, beep, bzz, bzz. C1 finds this really insulting. C1 has had it up to his valves with you. Come on, don't be so salty. Don't forget we applied for a Peggy 3 rating. Be careful what you say. <laughs> okay. What about the three laws of robotics? C1 thinks you've seen too many sci-fi movies. C1 no such thing. C1 could easily pierce your skull with a laser beam and use it as a bowling ball Jesus. if he wanted to. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the clarification. Good luck with your calculations. Got a coffin? Why would there be a coffin? As unbelievable as this sounds, Ronald's father bought it years ago in anticipation of his own funeral. He found it on sale at a mortuary fair. He won't be happy at all when he finds out those morons have damaged it. Well, everybody does die. Get me afraid of- Oops. I've been brought- Okay. Maybe it's anti-aesthetic, but it's certainly effective. I don't want to end up like those who were here before me. I don't see how it could be unless you're a fly. Got an alarm clock here. It's the old alarm clock Ronald used when he was a small child. Didn't think he still had it. Can we take it? Oh, we can. I wonder if we can use that to wake up the bum. It's a hard life for hitchhikers. I really have to ask. Looking for a lift to the <laughs> underworld? 
Yes, I just tried Surely to talk to a hand. Give a good cleaning around here once in a while. No kidding. Like crap. Cherries or die. I like the pizza clock. Got a blue horn. How we met when your mother Robin reference. This house, the forensic guys had just unsealed the kitchen. When the investigation was closed, his parents decided to leave the outline of the body on the table. I have Why? to admit that it gives an extra kick to breakfast, though. All right. It's a. Uh... Pretty weird. I once tried to lay down there. A really uncomfortable position to die in. Creepy thing is, it looks like the size of a child's body. It's a big computer brain able to monitor all the household appliances to prevent domestic accidents. Open the microwave? Sure, why not? I wonder if we can stick something in there. Check the cereal box here first. Boom cereal. An explosion of energy in your stomach. Literally. Let's take it's it. It's fine where it is. Guess not. Mm. I never tasted anything so delicious. Couple of pots, Where'd some ladles, soup go? and jars with spices of dubious geographical origin. Not like he has a stomach. How did this get in here? What? Oh, we got a recorder. It's the tape recorder Ronald's father used when he was in college. What is that going to be used for? When we were kids, Ronald and I played rock stars. Me on the pots, him on the pans. We were such a disaster. There's the movers. A little souvenir from Easter Island. We had some trouble at customs, but it was worth it. How the hell did you move that? The trophy of a fishing trip. An unequal contest won with firecrackers and nail guns. Undoubtedly, this is the manliest thing Ronald's father has ever done. Ugh. I'm sure if he could talk, there'd be Shots a whole fired. lot of swearing. Don't deprive Ronald. He already has to put up with his wife every single day. Damn, shots fired again. A little souvenir. We had some. Oops. All right. Judging from all the dust and the boyish look of the barman, I'm betting this has seen better days. Oh, okay, so we missed the mug. So, what can we use the mug for? Scoop some water, I guess. Cheers. Now what? I missed the pills. <laughs> Whoops. Now, what can the pills do? The psych meds of Cousin Jason. Come to think of it. The psych meds of Cousin Jason. Come to think of it, we've suddenly lost track of him. <laughs> okay, can we put him in here? Oh, we can! Oh, now we're making progress. But now, what do we use that for? It seems to be on the brink of an explosion. My additives gave it that extra oomph. What the hell? Okay, let's try this I found out. I the solution to your problems, mainly because if I waited for him to solve it, I would have died another time first. What am I supposed to do? You just have to open your mouth and say, ah. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Ew. Your dust monster is evolving. I feel, I feel a great power in my hands. Wait a minute, I have hands. <laughs> Sounds more threatening already, right? What the hell? Glad to have contributed to making the world a less safe place. What is this game? How do you feel? Better than ever. I feel like I can break the whole world. <laughs> Just try to take it over, okay? Huh? Unfortunately, it seems we haven't made any progress regarding intelligence. 
What about the Swiffer? I don't know who this Swiffer is, but I will punch him to death! <laughs> this should be interesting. Now you seem to be covered in muscles and not by dust anymore. <laughs> I'll leave you to your evil plans. Glad to have contributed to making the world a less safe place. Alright guys, I'm going to take a break for now. I think we made some pretty good progress in the game. If you guys like the content, please hit like. That means so much to me. Help me out a whole bunch. New YouTube channel. And if you want to see more of my content, please hit that subscribe button. That's it for now. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next episode.